Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, this beautiful day. I'm sorry for wasting your time last time. I, I was looking around too much and I had a few issues, but I checked out the code and I, I figured some stuff out. One thing is that when we create the enemies in here, we add a random from 0 to 3. Like there's going to be a 0 to 3 level interval between uh, the player and the enemy created and that gives us a bunch of extra it gives them a bunch of extra damage and stuff so this is kind of dangerous uh, and then another thing is that the combat role uh, for the player this is when the player attacks alright now the players total is dependent on the accuracy di divided by the um, the combat total alright we have to do this the other way around as we hit the enemy because the enemies combat total is going to be the enemies get accuracy and the players because the players defending get defense all right defense i added a few more things i'm going to show you what i added uh, and then enemy total is going to be get accuracy and then get defense because the player is defending and then we will do this enemy roll and the player roll that's important uh, one more thing I I added was uh, the let me see where where is it when I print out the enemies I added the damage thing here so I added this I hope you can see that now we can see the damage of the enemy as we roll so let's go ahead and roll a new character uh, let's level them up to three so let's add a bunch of vitality. Level up. Level up. One more on strength. So if we check our level, we should be level 4 now. And that could give us a level 7 enemy because we added by 3. But if we go ahead and travel, player turn. Attack. We have two enemies, level 6 and level 5. See, their damage is pretty crazy. 6 to 18, 5 to 15. Accuracy, defense, defense, accuracy. So he had a shitty defense, shitty accuracy, uh, and uh, and yeah, that's about it. So that enemy is pretty dangerous. We'll attack the first one. We hit, and then the enemy player roll is six. They hits for seven, hits for fifteen. That shouldn't happen because their damage doesn't go that high, does it? So if we go as well, it does. It does. It does. It does. It does 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 go pretty damn high uh, so if I attack zero I miss they do nine damage makes sense 16 damage also makes sense so that's a pretty heavy enemy right there pretty heavy and the amount of damage they do is insane uh, so let's load yes let's see 33 okay let me go ahead and attack one more time so attack, we have a bunch of enemies, they have crazy damage, crazy HPs. I just want to attack the first one, I hit, then that enemy is going to, okay, miss, that's a crazy hit, miss, hit for 12. So if you see a bunch of enemies like this, you're pretty much dead. Uh, and that's not good balancing, is it? So let's quit. Go in the enemy. I give them three accuracy, three defense. Well, I guess. I guess that's fine. Mm, the damages is crazy though. That is insane. That is insane. So random between those. Well, damage minimum could be. Well, no, one to two. That's fine. Just have to sink down their accuracy and their defense a little bit. Uh, and then we're gonna have our event. Um. Let's see. So our. Our turn. 
let's see use item escape attack defend I don't know why I have defend because why, why would you defend one turn I mean as you defend there's not really much you can do uh, but we'll keep it for now let's see can remove this now I uh, keep that that's good I was thinking of one more thing I was thinking of in game as I run the game as I initialize the game I say create new character but what I should do is is uh, 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 what do you call it if stream in in dot open open characters dot character dot txt I think that's our characters file isn't it uh, characters dot txt we try to open it so if in dot is open if it opens it then this load characters else create new characters all right and then we we'll just in dot close if we somehow open it uh, and boom that's gonna have us either load characters that are saved or we will create a new character so nail dot loaded let's create a new character search and then just save characters Seven select a character, let's select Lail and then play with Lail. And if I quit, run this again, we should be able to load our two characters and Lail is selected. So that's good. That's good. That's a better way to initialize the game. Uh, if it doesn't exist, uh, we'll create new characters. And then we will save. We could do that. So we create the file, if there isn't a file, this save characters. Okay, we'll do that. And as we quit, main menu, uh, let me see, as we quit, playing false, this save characters. I want to save them as we quit, uh, and then in main as we return zero this no, game dot save characters always now I'll see if if that return zero happens so if I make lil lil I level up let me just check my character sheet I'm at level four I'm gonna level up my lil character and add one stat point let's go to five I'm level five now and then I'll just quit the game like this. I'll run that. Check that. I'm still level four. Okay, so when you quit or turn that off, this doesn't get get run. Um, but okay, so we don't have to do that actually. But when you quit legit, then it's gonna then it's gonna save for you. So that's good. We fixed that. We have our enemy stuff fixed. Do pretty much damage, but quite a lot of damage and how does our defense and our QC fare depending on dexterity and and intelligence so there's there's is always going to be higher it's depending on their level multiplied by 2 see this 3 is too much too that's too much i think or I don't know, we'll we'll see. Three to one. So level five will have five dexterity. What do we have at level five? If I load my character, I have a defense of seven, accuracy of seven. If I go and attack uh, enemy turn. If I attack, 
Obviously, I have a 10 and 7. That's pretty insane. That's pretty insane. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, that's pretty crazy accuracy. But you could get better than them. Uh, so you have to kind of work around that. In event, when we attack, we find that we print all the enemies. Uh, right here, we print all the enemies. I want to do that up here as well. So as, as fast as we create all the enemies, we print them out. We just print them out and then uh, um, or well no it should be a surprise it could be a surprise I don't know we'll, we'll keep it like that for now but what were we, what were we gonna do other than that we were going to fix all the gold and the item things so as you defeat an enemy you do get exp gain you do get exp gained uh, gold gained uh, so the amount of gold you get where do I have gain exp okay here we go int gain gold Let's go back down to where we were editing this. Here we go. Uh, and then gain gold equals random uh, enemies choice dot get level multiplied by 10 uh, plus 1. How do you how what do you mean gain gold is what do you mean man? Gain gain Okay, so we're down here. Gain gold is random. Good lord have mercy on my soul. Uh, gain gold. And what I have to do is I have to say character dot gain gain gold. Gain gold. Just gonna do that, then we're gonna make an inline function in character where we gain exp to so inline void gain gold const int gold and I'll remove that in case of issues this gold so we'll get a bunch of gold alright we'll get a bunch of gold and we'll get a bunch of exp and so we gain some gold and we're gonna have to uh, gonna have to do this gonna have to make a item and we're gonna have to shove that item into our player so I'm thinking I'm gonna do that in the next video because an item can be created using a name level Buy value, sell value, rarity. Uh, so we're going to have to... All of this is going to be dependent on level. And the rarity. So I'm going to have to customize all of this stuff as well. Yeah, we'll do that in the next one. For now, this is good. I want to keep short videos going because it's a little easier for you guys to watch. We fix small issues at a time. So that was that's good. Now you can attack and defend. You can gain gold. Let's see if we gain some gold. That's all I want to do. Uh, so I loaded up my character. Let's go travel. Let's go travel. Let's go travel. God damn it. I know I'm the best. I know I am. Good lord have mercy. How many are we going to... Okay, player turn. So attack. We're going to fix the HP bug as well. Okay, so attack. Let's see. Let's attack number zero. We hit him for thir 13. Um, continue enemy turn zero hit missed 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 attack attack number zero 
they have a lot of damn HP. Attack number zero. Please do 11 damage. God damn it. Attack number zero. Thank God. Attack number zero. Ooh, ooh. I'm dead soon. Let's see if we're lucky enough. Yes. Okay, so I got 21 gold and got some EHP. Oh my God, I'm so lucky. Okay, we can escape. Let's go in our thing here. Let's see how much gold we have. 121 gold. Good. Traveled, distance traveled 10. And all that's good. So if we quit the game, we'll save and quit. Ah, uh, that's great. That's good. So that's good for this video, guys and girls. Thanks for watching. Uh, and, and go ahead and fix everything and add stuff to this game. Like I always say, of course, it's, it's your game. You can do whatever the hell you want. I hope you're learning something and different techniques to use. Uh, because we're pretty much done with the learning part of the game. I've showed you all this stuff. I mean, now it's just balancing and just finishing off the game. Finishing the project. So we can end this. Uh, just adding the final things to event. Like different types of events. That's all we're doing. We're just, we're just doing small things. Okay? Um... Let me do this as well, just before I leave. Gain gold. Gold is chances multiplied by character get level. Random 10 plus 1. And then I'll gain. There's a bunch of new line stuff. You forgot. So many new line, new lines. But whatever. Uh, you gained... Gained uh, EXP gold, gain gold, and then new line, new line, character that gain gold. So we'll gain gold and EXP depending on how many puzzles we solve. And we do have our puzzles here. Ten, this is a template one. What if we make one more of these? Just make more, one more of these. 2.txt and we'll say capital of, of Sweden we have so what was the template it was number of answers three correct answer okay so let's say Uppsala let's say Stockholm and then Gotham no, Stockholm and then Gothenburg. I'll just Stockholm and Gothenburg. I'll, I'll have those in English. And then the correct answer is answer 1, 2, answer N. I wonder how 0, 1, 2. I think that's how it works, right? 0, 1, 2. Because I had 2 and head turner was on the bottom. But let's see if this works, if it loads another. Uh, travel, escape, 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 uh, I think it just loads that one, event, puzzle encounter, okay, it loads puzzles 1.txt, puzzle, puzzle, to, let's see string all right we're gonna have to we're gonna have to fix that I'm gonna fix that in the next one I think uh, but yeah thanks for watching this video is too long take care good luck with all the learning and I'll see you in the next one all right bye bye